Hey everyone, thanks for visiting us this morning at ArcleTexHomepage.com. I'm meteorologist Josh Marses with your forecast update for our Monday, and it is going to be a uh, fairly warm day for us here. We've been used to the heat all summer, but we're kind of running uh, quietly about 8 to 10 degrees above normal here across the region. So you see we'll start out with those mostly sunny skies across the Arkletex this morning, and uh, maybe partly cloudy this afternoon, and there will be a few rain showers out there, but just kind of the random pop-up, so hard to tell where they're going to be, but it looks like our highest chance of seeing a few afternoon pop-up showers probably across portions of east texas uh, so far so good this morning temperatures running in the mid 70s so a fairly warm start to the day for us closer look in shreveport no patchy fog setting up yet but i wouldn't be surprised if we do see a little bit of that as we go through the morning hours here and as far as radar uh, fairly quiet for us you can see there is a little rain drifting off uh, just to the west of red river county and mccurtain county this morning i'm thinking that may be the best chance uh, of where we'll see some rain pop up later in the afternoon Noon, but your temperatures to begin the day here. Low 70s for a few of us north of Interstate 30, and I think we'll see a lot of 70 degree mornings uh, across the Arkletex this week. There's a wider look at what's happening here, and uh, just kind of lacking any fronts or any kind of uh, mechanisms in the atmosphere here that would produce any kind of widespread shower thunderstorm activity. There is high pressure down in the Gulf, low pressure just off to our southwest, and just kind of the revolving air around both of those, kind of setting a little bit of uh, Gulf air up towards uh, northeast Texas, McCurtain County and maybe up into southern Arkansas. So we may see a few showers pop up in those uh, general locations as we go through the day today. But I actually think rain chances may be highest south of Interstate 30 uh, through portions of East Texas and Louisiana. Highs today in the mid-90s. We'll show you a future cast here that does show the sunshine this morning. And uh, occasionally we'll see those partly cloudy skies this afternoon. And there's a little bit of rain popping up. Uh, you see that across East Texas today. And possibility we do get a little bit of that activity up into the I-30 corridor, but uh, not really really counting on any rain for a cool down today and we'll kind of keep these slight rain chances going Tuesday into Wednesday as well and uh, will remain hot for us looks like mid 90s through uh, at least Wednesday here latest on uh, what is still tropical depression Florence those maximum winds 35 miles per hour you can see unfortunately still dragging some heavy rain across portions of uh, North Carolina South Carolina but that rain starting to shift a little bit further to the north as Florence makes her way inland and uh, other thing where we left off last week we've got uh, what is left of what was uh, Hurricane Isaac has now kind of dissipated here so it is uh, not a tropical system at this point National Hurricane Center watching the remnants there just to the southwest of uh, Port-au-Prince Haiti and they give it about a 20% chance of redeveloping this week so uh, extremely low chances that that redevelops and again that's uh, good news for us we'll hopefully keep that system out of the Gulf of Mexico here so mid 90s through Wednesday again may see a little better chance for some rain there's a cold front that will slide to the north of the Arctic late this week into the weekend so rain chances there fairly low but uh, increasing Friday Saturday and it looks like our uh, final week of summer will continue to bring us some summer like temperatures low to mid 90s through the upcoming week